My name is Chris Jenneret from the Pacific Northwest, Seattle, Washington. Grew up in Monroe, Washington, home of Evergreen Speedway and one of the stops on the Formula Drift Tour. I was born in Kirkland, Washington, and I pretty much lived here my entire life. We, uh, when I was a kid, moved to LA for a little while, but uh, ended up coming back here, you know, it's home. My drifting career started back in 2006 when I was a crew chief for a uh, driver from Japan, came over. Uh, Mitsuru Haraguchi was driving for Falcon Tire at the time, and we helped pilot him into a, his first podium and his first event um, in 2007, and pretty much got my foot in the door there, and I was hooked watching it. So one of the highlights from last year was, um, you know, we, we had a rough start out, but we got to our home track in Evergreen Speedway, and we were actually able to qualify top 32, and we were only within a point of qualifying and locking in the top 16. I knew we had what it took to be there. We just had a few issues we needed to work out, and uh, some of the biggest problems came from just, you know, the prepping and the time in the off season, and testing, and never driving the car for two years, and, you know, getting into a car, just having to perform is one thing, but having that, you know, feeling in the beginning of the season that your car is 100% ready. And I didn't, ha I never had that feeling until maybe after Texas. For the 2014 season, we're bringing something to Formula Drift that hasn't been done in a long time. And it's gonna be a new chassis. Something that has been in Formula Drift, but never really got pushed to the levels of the way we build cars now. The car we're building is gonna be super fast, super light, and probably one of the top five highest horsepower cars in Formula Drift. For 2014, I'm gonna be driving a Honda S2000, something I've wanted to drive for a long time. I've one of my favorite cars growing up. Something I'm really excited about is, you know, everyone might think, you know, oh, they're gonna throw a QJ in it or an LS swap, and you no, know, it's great. We're actually gonna keep a Honda motor in it. And that's like my, the, the coolest part about the whole project is, I know it'll be more than competitive with those power plant uh, choices as well. Not that they're bad, but you know it's going to be cool to keep manufacture the same engine in the same family, and we're going to be able to you know compete in the manufacturers' cup with that because of that uh, in Formula Drift. And I think it'll give all the guys, you know, the true Honda guys, a lot to root for. The team of people that we work are working with this next year are known for making big horsepower and super reliable engines, and. I'm super excited to be actually stepping into this new chassis because it's going back to my roots actually. My friends over at Speed Factory Racing are going to be taking the task on of building and tuning and maintaining the car for next year and um, I have no doubt in my mind that it, the car is going to be 110% every time that car hits the track. Uh, we're going to put a K-Series uh, 2.6 liter stroked engine with a l large frame Garrett turbocharger on it. Some of the things that Speed Factory has accomplished in the last couple of years is amazing. The fastest front wheel drive cars in the world. They have set record after record every time they hit the track and they keep their motors together. That's another amazing thing. These guys don't go to the track and it's not a one time wonder. It's they back it up. And I, I've seen that over the years and I've been wanting to work with these guys for a long time. And I felt with this pro project and this program, that it was the time to call them and you know let's get this team together. All right, so we just got to Speed Factory. We're here in the showroom. This is where the customers hang out and watch the Seahawks game. And uh, this, we got some parts over here for sale and stuff. Our lovely receptionist, Megan, over here. Hello. And uh, let me show you the engine room. It's pretty cool. <clears throat> right here, we got one of the Speed Factory K-Series motors that they use for uh, some of the race cars. Um, like their all-motor car, actually, is the only one in their field that runs a K-Series. Um, makes over 400 wheel horsepower. It's phenomenal. And uh, something similar we're gonna be running in the S2000, so I'm really excited for that. Over here we got Kevin setting up uh, going on? engine parts. I'm Kevin from Speed Factory. I'm one of the owners slash engine builders and one of the technicians in the shop. My, my main involvement in the build is gonna be pretty much the engine program. Um, obviously we're going to have to get the engine on point because it's gonna be in a drift car, high RPM, banging off the limiter. But I'm really excited about putting a K-Series in the S2000. Um, because we're really comfortable with the platform and we know the K-Series motor in and out. So kind of taking our knowledge that we know from making horsepower and just kind of bringing it down a little bit so that it'll be more reliable. I'm, I'm excited to see it all work and, and because I haven't seen a Honda engine in a drift car, so uh, that's exciting.
Hey everybody, I'm Matt from Speed Factory. Um, I take care of uh, all the sales and marketing here at the shop, um, as well as kind of uh, managing the, the race program and race teams that we run. So far we've been pretty successful in the drag racing that we've been doing. The drifting thing has always been out there and it's really popular, um, so we felt like we could bring a lot to his program. Our team and, and him, I think, will make a, a, a really good combination and hopefully it'll do really well. All right, so we're down here in the shop now. As we see here, we got all the famous Speed Factory racing cars. We got the all-motor Civic. We got uh, James's Outlaw uh, Civic, the one that world record 7.9 in the quarter mile, almost 200 miles an hour. We got their other SFW car, street front wheel drive, that uh, it's pretty much the same engine as an outlaw car, but on a smaller tire. But uh, undisclosed numbers, just way over a thousand, that's all you need to know. So we're over here in the fabrication department. This is where the roll cage is gonna get built, the turbo manifolds, all the spare parts for the suspension, intercoolers, radiators, they make it all in-house. There's, it's a one-stop shop. My name is Ricky Eichert. I am a co-owner and the head of the fabrication department here at Speed Factory Racing through our drag race program and all of our experience and Chris's experience with, uh, with drifting and drag racing himself and his knowledge and all of his connections. I'm more than confident that we can put together not only a great car but a winning car for Chris. You know, one thing that we know in our business is that, the, is that uh, performance is in the details and quality is very important to us in drag racing and for how hard this car is going to be driven and how aggressive a driver Chris is, especially for this chassis, um, it needs to be driven that way. Um, I, I just know this project is going to be great, and I'm really excited for it. Hey guys, thanks for watching Made to Drift. If you want to follow the build, subscribe to Import Me. On the next few episodes, we'll be showing you what goes into building a Formula Drift car.